Here's a look at a situation that often confuses new IFR pilots. How to depart IFR from a non-towered airport. We'll use Bremerton National Airport west of Seattle as the example for this exercise. It's a typical non-towered airport with Class Echo airspace to the surface. Remember that 14 CFR 91.155 specifies the basic VFR weather minimums for all types of airspace, including these basic criteria for class ECHO airspace. But other paragraphs in that same regulation remind you that unless you're operating on an IFR clearance or special VFR clearance, you can't fly around beneath the clouds, take off or land, or even enter the traffic pattern at an airport with class ECHO airspace to the surface unless the reported ceiling is at least 1,000 feet and the reported visibility is at least three miles. With those rules in mind, let's consider how you plan for an IFR departure and get an IFR clearance from ATC at Bremerton. You'll want to sort out several important details before you taxi to the runway. During pre-flight planning, review the information about your departure airport. If you use FAA charts, Details about departure procedures are in the Terminal Procedures publication. If you use an app like ForeFlight, you can find the TPP listings by starting at the airport's information page. Touch the Procedure tab, then Departure. If the airport has one or more Chartered Departure Procedures or SIDS, they are listed in the right column. Bremerton has a text departure procedure that includes a diverse vector area. When you touch that item, ForeFlight shows a list of airports sorted by city name. Scroll through the listing to find the details for Bremerton. I use the annotation feature in ForeFlight to highlight key details. First, the text departure procedure, then the information about the diverse vector area. If a diverse vector area is listed, ATC will probably assign a heading when you receive your clearance, so be ready for that detail. You probably won't be cleared via the full text DP. Next, check the chart supplement to learn how to contact ATC for your clearance. At Bremerton, you can reach Seattle Approach on the ground on 127.1. But if that frequency doesn't work, you can also call Seattle Approach at the listed phone number. Wind two zero zero at zero eight. Visibility one zero. Sky condition overcast one thousand. Temperature one seven Celsius. Dew point one four Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner one. Okay, we got the current weather. It's come up just a little bit, barely VFR. When you've organized all the details for your departure, taxi to the run-up area for the takeoff runway, complete pre-takeoff checks, and then call ATC when you're ready to copy your clearance and are prepared for an expeditious departure. Seattle Approach, Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot, Bremerton, ready to depart IFR runway 20. 1546 Foxtrot, you're cleared to Boeing Field. Our radar vectors on departure, fly runway heading maintained at 3000. Departure frequency 120.1, clock 4653. Uh, Bonanza 46 Fox was cleared to Boeing Field radar vectors, uh, altitude 3000, 120.1, 4653. F46 Fox, uh, read back correct. Uh, and uh, what runway are you departing from? Runway 20, 46 Fox. 46 Fox, uh, uh, departure instructions will be runway heading 3000, and you're released for departure now. Uh, clearance deployed, if not off at. Uh, at eight minutes at one seven five zero. We're ready to depart now. We'll fly heading one nine seven three thousand four six five seven. If you're ready to go, ATC usually issues your clearance and IFR release at the same time. But as the AIM explains, ATC may tell you to hold for release, and you'll always get a void time after which your clearance is no longer valid. Bremerton traffic Bonanza four six Fox trucks departing runway two zero, Bremerton. Final's clear, runway's clear, lights are on. Here we go. Power is set. Go flow 
Vehicles good, airspeed's alive. We go.